If you want to create an example, in place of R, R dash, R1, R2, you put alkyl group like methyl or ethyl. Ketones are the prepared by the action of Grignard reagent on nitriles. What's the general formula of Grignard reagent? The general formula of Grignard reagent is RMGX. What's the general formula of acid chloride? The general formula of acid chloride is RC double bond O Cl. Hello my dear students, I am Renu Kashuk, the Department of Chemistry Vidyashram Pre-University College, the Temple of Excellence, Mysuru. Welcome to second session of chapter Aldehyde Ketones and Carboxylic Acids. Second session of chapter Aldehyde Ketones and Carboxylic Acid. In the previous session, I have given introduction about so Aldehyde Ketones and Carboxylic Acid as well as nomenclature of aldehydes and ketones, nature of carbonyl group, as well as preparation of aldehydes and ketones, how aldehydes and ketones are prepared. In the first session, I discussed about nomenclature of aldehydes and ketone, as well as the preparation of aldehydes and ketone. In this session, I am going to deal with how ketones are prepared, as well as some of the physical and chemical properties of aldehydes and ketones, aldehydes and ketone. So, how ketones are prepared? Ketone is prepared from acyl chloride, acyl chloride. This acyl chloride is also called as acid chloride, acid chloride. What is the general formula of acid chloride? RC double bond O Cl. The general formula of acid chloride is RC double bond O Cl. First, we have to prepare dialkyl cadmium, dialkyl cadmium. How do you prepare dialkyl cadmium? Dialkyl cadmium is prepared by treating Grignard reagent. What is the formula of Grignard reagent? Agent RMGX treated with cadmium chloride, treated with cadmium chloride, it will give rise to dialkyl cadmium, dialkyl cadmium. This dialkyl cadmium is added to acid chloride, is added to acid chloride, you will get ketone, you will get ketone and cadmium chloride. So, therefore, first it consists of two steps. First, we have to prepare, how can you prepare dialkyl cadmium, dialkyl cadmium. How can you prepare dialkyl cadmium? Dialkyl cadmium is prepared by the action of cadmium chloride on Grignard reagent. This dialkyl chloride, it is added to acid chloride, it gives rise to ketone, it gives rise to ketone. So, if you want to give example, in place of R and R dash, in place of wherever you have R, R dash and R2, you put methyl group or ethyl group, put methyl group or what? Ethyl group, alkyl group, will get an example. Therefore, my dear student, please remember general equation. If you want to create an example in place of R, R dash, R1, R2, you put alkyl group like methyl or ethyl, methyl or ethyl. Second one from nitriles. What are nitriles? Nitriles are the compounds which containing functional group Cn, which containing functional group Cn. When nitriles are treated with Grignard reagent, so here MgX goes to nitrogen, R dash goes to carbon. Therefore, triple bond become double bond, N become N, N MgX R dash, which on acid hydrolysis, which on acid hydrolysis, it gives rise to ketone. Therefore, how can you get ketones? Ketones are the prepared by the action of Grignard reagent on nitriles. What's the general formula of Grignard reagent? The general formula of Grignard reagent is RMGX. These are alkyl or aryl magnesium halides. What are Grignard reagent? Alkyl or aryl magnesium halide. This Grignard reagent is added to nitriles. What are nitriles? Nitriles are the organic compound which having functional group C triple bond N. C triple bond N. In place of R, I will put ethyl group that is CH. 3 CH2. First N takes a MGR as well as the aryl group C6H5 it is added to carbon. So, which on acid hydrolysis will get ketone, will get ketone. Therefore, what is the first method of preparation of ketone? Ketones are prepared from acid chloride, the first method. Second method from nitrile, from nitrile. Third method from Friedel-Crafts reaction. Already in the first chapter, halo alkanes and halorines, you know that Friedel-Crafts reaction. In Friedel-Crafts reaction, we have two types, Friedel-Crafts alkylation and Friedel-Crafts acylation. 
In case of acylation, you have to add acid chloride. You have to add acid chloride to benzene or substituted benzene. Benzene or substituted benzene. Was the catalyst used here? Anhydrous aluminium chloride. Was the catalyst used in friedel crafts reaction? The catalyst which is used in friedel crafts reaction is anhydrous aluminium chloride. When we add acid chloride, when we add acid chloride, to benzene or substituted benzene, RC double bond is, is get substituted. That takes Cl and it will form what? HCl. It will form what? HCl. If I take in place of R, if I take CH3, it is called as acetyl chloride. It is called as acetyl chloride. Here there is hydrogen. Hydrogen takes chlorine and it will form HCl. It will form HCl. And COCH3 is get added to ortho position. This ketone is called as acetophenone. It is called as what? acetophenone. Therefore, what's the third method of preparation of ketone? The third method of preparation of ketone is friedel crafts acylation. friedel crafts acylation. Here, in case of friedel crafts acylation, we have to introduce acyl group by adding acid chloride. By adding acid chloride to benzene or substituted benzene in the presence of catalyst called anhydrous aluminium chloride. What's the general formula of acid chloride? The general formula of acid chloride is R C double bond O C L R C double bond O C L. Then move on to physical properties. Former methanol is a gas, ethanol, volatile liquid. Other aldehyde and ketones are liquids or in a solid. Boiling point of aldehyde and ketones are higher than those of hydrocarbons and ether of comparable masses because of weak molecular association in aldehyde and ketone arising out the dipole-dipole interaction. Boiling points of aldehyde and ketones are lower than that of alcohol because as you know, alcohols having higher boiling point because of the presence of intramolecular hydrogen bonding. Those who have hydrogen bonding, intramolecular hydrogen bonding, they have high boiling point. The intramolecular hydrogen bonding is present in alcohol. Therefore, aldehydes and ketones have lower boiling point than corresponding alcohol because of the the absence of hydrogen bonding, intramolecular hydrogen bonding. Okay. Lower members of aldehyde and ketones are completely soluble in water because they form hydrogen bond, because they form hydrogen bond. Solubility of aldehydes and ketones decreases with the increase in the length of the alkyne chain because as you know that alkyl groups are hydrophobic in nature. As the size of alkyl group increases, they hate water. Therefore, as the size of alkyl group increases, the solubility decreases. Aldehyde and ketones are fairly soluble in organic solvents such as ether, methanol. Lower aldehydes have sharp pungent odor. As the size of aldehyde increases, the odor becomes less pungent and more fragrant. Therefore, aldehydes add fragrance to the nature. Fragrance to the nature. So, nucleophilic addition reaction. First, let us consider chemical properties of aldehydes and ketone. In the first chapter, we studied about nucleophilic substitution. In this chapter, I am going to explain nucleophilic addition. Nucleophilic, first nuclear, this is the 3D structure of aldehyde and what? Ket ketone, that is carbonyl compound. Nucleophile attacks carbon of carbonyl group. So, from the direction which is perpendicular to the plane of sp2 hybrid orbit. So, here nucleophile attacks carbon of carbonyl group from the perpendicular direction. Therefore, from this the hybridization changes from sp2 hybridization to sp3 hybridization. It is changes to sp2 hybridization to sp3 hybridization. Therefore, we are observing the geometry also changes. So, hybridization changes from sp2 hybridization to sp3 hybridization as well as the geometry changes changes to tetrahedral structure, tetrahedral structure. Then in the second step, see in the second step, this O minus captures H plus and it will form neutral product. Out of these two steps, the step one is lower step, therefore it is called as rate determining step. Already in chemical kinetics, I discussed that any chemical reaction which takes place more than one step, such reactions are called as complex reaction whose rate can be determined by slowest step. The slowest step is called as rate determining step. Therefore, here the nucleophile, for example, in SN1 reaction mechanism, a nucleophile attacks any direction in SN2 from the back side. But here in nucleophilic addition mechanism, the nucleophile attacks carbon of carbonyl group from the direction which is perpendicular to the plane of sp2 hybrid orbital. What's the change of hybridization during this reaction? The change of hybridization during this reaction is sp2 hybridization changes to sp2 
sp3 therefore geometry changes from trigonal planar to tetrahedral next reactivity in due, both aldehyde and ketone undergo nucleophilic addition but ketones are less reactive than aldehyde because of steric effect as well as electronic effect because in case of aldehyde as you know the carbonyl group is attached to only alkyl or haryl group but in case of ketone the carbonyl carbon is attached with two alkyl or aryl group therefore bulkiness more is ketone therefore because of steric hindrance so the attack of nucleophile attack of nucleophile is very difficult in case of ketone it's very easy in very aldehyde because the hydrogen is not bulky group therefore using steric effect the presence of two bulky substituents in ketone hinders the approach of nucleophile to carbonyl carbon in aldehydes but electronic effect the electrophilicity of the carbonyl carbon in ketone decreases due to the presence of two alkyl group therefore whatever the reason ketone i am giving because of the presence of how many alkyl group two alkyl group but in case of aldehyde it has only one alkyl group hydration of hydrogen cyanide what happens when cyanide is added to aldehydes and keto they'll form an addition product called cyanohydrine cyanohydrine they will form cyanohydrate. Next one addition of sodium hydrogen sulfide. Saturated solution of sodium bisulfate in water when mixed with aldehydes and lower members of ketone, they will form crystalline bifurder addition product called bisulfite addition product. So, higher ketone does not undergo this reaction because of steric hindrance, because of steric hindrance. Example, acetaldehyde and acetone gives acetaldehyde sodium bisulfide and acetone sodium bisulfide when they react with saturated solution of sodium bisulfide. Next, aldehydes also reacts with alcohol. What happens? When they react with monohydric alcohol, it will form hemiacetal, hemiacetal. Once again, it is added to one molecule of alcohol in the presence of dry HCl, it will form acetal, it will form acetal. Therefore, aldehyde reacts with two molecules of monohydric alcohol. In the first step, when it reacts with, see, it is added to R' is added to oxygen, OH is added to carbon. Therefore, C become COR dash and OH. It is called as hemiacetal, hemiacetal. When it reacts with one molecule of alcohol in the presence of dihedral, there is an introduction of two OR dash. It is called as acetal. Therefore, aldehyde reacts with alcohol in the presence of dry HCl gas to form acetal. Acetal are gem alkoxy alkanes in which two alkyl groups are present on the terminal carbon atom. In this reaction, addition of one molecule of alcohol to one molecule of aldehyde result in the formation of what? Hemiacetal. Hemiacetal. So, for this, in place of R, you put CH3, it is acetal aldehyde then you take it will form the formation of what first hemiacetal then it will form what acetal okay next to ketones ketones are react does not react with monohydric alcohol but they react with dihydric alcohol they will form two here also two alkoxy groups are attached to the same carbon so it will form ethylene glycol ketol it will form ethylene glycol ketol so these are the few reactions i discussed in session 2 next to in session 3 i'll come up with other chemical properties of aldehyde and ketone like condensation reaction clemson reduction so and distinguish between aldehydes and ketone therefore in the third session i'll come up with other chemical reactions of aldehydes and ketone until that goodbye take care have a nice day bye bye thank you